Hello, so at the moment I'm reading this because I wanted something light and easy to read and I'm about to start this. But I wanted to come in and talk about um, this book that I read, Eileen by Otessa Moshvek. Um, this came out four years ago and I wanted to talk about it because I enjoyed reading it very much. Um, as you can see from the cover, it's got a kind of old-style 60s mystery cinema vibe to it. And this was her debut. She's come out with other books since then, and I'll happily read anything else she wrote. Um, what I really liked about this book was the tension in it. Um, it's set in New England, in America, over like the cold winter in the 1960s at some point. And it's set at the point where everyone's tired of the winter and the snow and everyone just wants it to get better, basically. So it's really grim, um, bleak, but Eileen makes it really fascinating to read about. Um, so throughout the novel, you know that Eileen is recounting her early adulthood at the point where she decided to leave the town. Um, so you know um, it holds this tension for a particular reason and the novel builds up to the climax really, really well. Um, if you just read the climax itself on its own, it would seem really extreme, but because of the things in place in the novel, um, it's really fun and thrilling. So the novel does have thriller aspects to it, but it's not really a thriller. It just kind of uses... Um, certain tools from a thriller novel to make itself work. Um, so Eileen is um, like that person, if you were in a room, you'd probably overlook her. She's like dour, probably quite haggard, boring, ordinary looking. Um, she barely eats. She drinks a lot. She has to take care of her alcoholic older father who's a retired policeman um, and she becomes obsessed with this woman who um, starts work in her place so she works in a boys prison um, so that's an interesting dynamic just on its own and um, as she befriends this new girl she's like oh I can make myself interesting for this new girl and um, Eileen has a naivety to her that's um, just fun to read, but because the novel's told retrospectively, um, you get that Eileen is just laughing at herself as well. And Moshvek really balances out the um, funny side of Eileen with the bleak and depressing side of her life really well. Um, for instance, there's one bit where she goes on a night out and then wakes up in the morning in her car, her like banged out car that barely works. She just wakes up and there's just a puddle of sick next to her in the seat and her hair just looks a fright and she's like crashed into a snowdrift. And she's like, what the fuck? How did I end up in this? And so there's an unreliability attached to her as well, um, which is done in a way that makes her intriguing rather than um, retentive. So there's also a scene where Eileen, um, she's in this woman's house and she she's in the bathroom and then she sees like a bar of soap in the shower with just pubic hair on it and then she grabs it and just rubs it all over her face. So it's just really disgusting. Um, but disgusting in a fascinating way. It's like, I thought the plot was really well managed and I thought the characters were believable and the way they interacted with each other was really well done. Um, the other thing I liked about the book was that it wasn't trying to do any like cheap literary theatrics. Um, the prose was good and um, quite stark, which suits the atmosphere. And the only 
issue, the only like, really niggly issue I had was that twice it described like the night sky as like spangled with stars. Like that was the only thing that it said that twice. So if that's all I could find in it that I had issues with, um, normally that means it was a really good book coming from me. Uh, looking for a cold, um, pithy, interesting read. Um, pick this up. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie.